frequently. What happened to your leg? Your doctor probably was concerned about the strength of the medicine, too. She probably weighed that danger against the danger of not breathing. Oxygen is so important during those prepubescent years, don't you think? Okay, I'm going to assume that nobody's ever told you what asthma is, or if they have, you had other things on your mind. A stimulant triggers cells in your child's airways to release substances that inflame the air passages and cause them to contract. Mucus production increases, cell lining starts to shed. But the steroids, the steroids stop the inflammation. More often this happens. What? The more often this happens, what? Forget it. If you don't trust steroids, you shouldn't trust doctors. You couldn't have knocked? Steroids. Give her steroids. High doses of prednisone. You're looking for support for a diagnosis of cerebral axiolitis. Inflammation of blood vessels in the brain is awfully rare, especially for someone her age. So is a tumor. Her sed rate is elevated. Mildly. That could mean anything or nothing. Yeah, I know. I have no reason to think that it's vasculitis, except that it could be. If the blood vessels are inflamed, that's going to look exactly like what we saw in the MRI from Trenton County, and the pressure's going to cause neurological symptoms. We can't diagnose that without a biopsy. Yes, we can. We treat it. If she gets better, we know we're right. And if we're wrong? We learn something else. She's cutting off Maggie's airway. We shrunk him with alcohol. She's breathing on her own now. Well, that sucks. 4,300 saved emails and not a single mention of lesbianic Sanchez or mangina. Swollen lymph nodes means it wasn't psychological. Who's that from? Santa, obviously. As you know, I worship him. No, wait, I mean Satan. I always get him confused. What is an alpine butterfly? Why aren't you learning how to do one? House, we already have a full history. You don't need to waste time. It's a climbing knot. But what does she use it for? Try bondage. I did once. She just tied me down and whined about how hard it is to be dean of medicine. Gyms aren't exactly pristine. Could be a fungal infection. Seriously, who's it from? No fever, no elevated white count. Ah! That's funny. Friend sent her a Garfield cartoon. That cat sure does love lasagna. House, stop obsessing. If it weren't for my obsessions, you wouldn't know that she has sarcoidosis. 18 months ago, she sold her Stairmaster. Was only two months old. Now either she needed the cash or climbing stairs was getting more difficult. 12 months ago, she canceled a hiking trip. Now either she just wanted to sit home and watch TV or walking was getting more difficult. She's been suffering joint pain for the last two years. Pull my ribbon, if you know what I mean. ACE levels are too low for sarcoidosis. That's not what I meant. Could just be an inactive phase. It's not Christmas yet. I remembered. I'm not a Satanist. I'm a druid. No lung involvement. Yet. We'll need a bronchoalveolar lavage to confirm it. That's a shame. I'm gonna surprise her with one for Christmas. Wow. Now, either that costs more than 25 bucks, or I'm seriously starting to doubt Steve Jobs' business strategies. Thanks. I'm waiting for you to name something new to our relationship. You got no good reason to be angry with me. Oh, really? I should be thanking you? If this was about getting the story out there, then yeah. Of course, this is actually about something else. Maybe you feeling impotent because patients keep dying and you think you need to make some grand, stupid gesture. You need to be a hero. Well, and yeah. Sorry, I did screw it up. You stepped over the line. This was not your decision. My God, there are 10,000 oncologists in this country. Every one of them loses patients. But only you would feel guilty enough Of course. We can't even argue on my schedule. It's house. Take down the bags. It's too soon to tell if the meds are gonna... Not the meds. It's the blood that's killing her. What's everybody doing? You're stunned, right? I mean, blood? She's had internal bleeding. She needs the blood to... Is that the mom? I got a good comeback if it's the mom. Yes. I'm her mother. Sure. She needs blood. If you want to kill her, then you'd have nobody left to neglect. Great plan. Your daughter has Vibrio vulnificus. Courtesy of a few scrumptious oysters on the half shell. I didn't eat any oysters. Thus proving that she did. Boy, that's neat. A hundred other people ate those oysters. Oh, yeah. Is that the dad? I got a good comeback. It's Chase. Oh. Thought the dad might have been Australian too. 
There was nothing wrong with the oysters. All oysters have vibrio, but almost no one has hemochromatosis. It'd give her a unique susceptibility to vibrio. Causes swollen joints. It got attributed to bulimia. So she got supplements. With iron. Which overcooked the liver, which caused bleeding. More blood, more iron, more bleeding, more blood. Is she going to be okay? Only if we give her high dose septazidine for the vibrio and chelate for the hemochromatosis. Now, Cameron, pick up the phone and give me a dramatic exit. You do know that I don't actually have magical power. I have faith. You're better off trying to slip some antibiotics into a meal. Which antibiotics? We don't know what infection he's got. Go as broad as you can. Forget it. Our best hope is your silver tongue. What if it's not an infection? Were you not paying attention when I was doing my murder scene metaphor? What if the tuberous sclerosis is guilty? It had the gun in its hand. It was standing It doesn't over cause the... fever. It causes everything else. What if the fever is the innocent bystander? The fever could have been set off by something he picked up anywhere. It could have been a bug he got here. Or a bug he gave here. He gave it to your patient. That's why her tumor shrank. The virus went after the cancer first. Are you saying a virus attacked her tumor? For 200 years, there have been reports of wild viruses that target tumors. Early 1900s, an Italian medical journal wrote up a woman with cervical cancer who was injected with a weak strain of rabies. I have no idea why they did that, but her tumor shrank. You think he gave her rabies? One of the virus types most prone to go after cancer cells is herpes. Herpes encephalitis. It would fit. Seizure, low sodium, even the blurred vision. And it would mean, if you're right, Grace's cancer is coming back. You're not gonna be able to convince them. They don't want any more tests. They don't wanna... They can't argue with the mark of Cain. What you have is herpes encephalitis. And the only way you could have transmitted it is by scratching one of your own sores and touching another person. Herpes, that's, that's something you get from sex, right? Either that or cold sores. Your kid got from the sex. They don't want me here because they think the kid's cured. I don't. And what do you think the problem is? I wish I knew. I just know that if Dr. House is right, something's gonna go wrong. Dr. House doesn't think he's right. Well, then I'll just waste a few hours watching a surgery. So the danger is we have to reconstruct all the way down to the cranial base, and there are some big vessels down there. So what we'll do is we'll work our way down to here. When were these pictures taken? Well, about three weeks ago. Why? What do you see? Well, the acanthosis nigricans was already there. It's been there a lot longer than that, probably his whole life. What about around his hairline? What? There's no discoloration. There is now. It's beautiful, ergo. You think that because she hasn't had a decent idea. No, my point is she's about to enter your office, so you should shut up. You were right about the diagnosis. Yes. Was JRA. I'm very proud. No, I mean, you were right about being wrong. He's got Lyme disease. It explains everything. Did you just hold up some fingers so I can see if I'm literally blind? We ruled out Lyme disease hours ago. All the symptoms fit. I am so ashamed. Is she really that good looking? Uh, apparently. How many lives have been lost because of pretty girls? The target rash is hiding. No one ever looked at him closely enough. second. We can try and pretend we're above it. We can try and intellectualize it away. But ultimately, shiny, pretty, perky things are good. And ugly, misshapen teenage boys are repulsive. The question was, do you resent Dr. Cuddy's interference in your practice? Oh. Well, I guess my answer wasn't very helpful, was it?